The lesson that we are going to learn today, as you see here, we have the site. And they have, there is uh, some information on the site, as you see here. And the site, and the site in here uh, is on the bridge across the river, as you see here. So what they write on this side but in here this side we have you see that uh, this the information is not clear so to make the uh, information to be clearly so we can learn easily so I show you like this the information on the side is right like this when you learn Japanese you should know everything about Japan, including Japanese culture. So when you travel around Japan, you see when you go to around the river or across uh, the river on the bridge, sometimes you will see that uh, there, is, there are some signs on the river, on the bridge, so you have to know the information what they write down on that size so let's learn together but in this side they just write in kanji so they have kanji hiragana and uh, so on so let's learn uh, the word by word step by step so the first we learn about the kanji in here. As you see here, we have the word like chui. Chui. Chui is mean intention or notice. And the second word in here, we also have the word like kyo jo. Kyo jo. Kyocho is mean on the bridge. For the word Kyocho, we have that the word Kyocho, we have the, uh, the sound, the kanji Kyo and the kanji Jo. The kanji Kyo in here is from the uh, Japanese, the word uh, Hashi. Hashi is mean bridge. In Japanese reading, you, you read the kanji kyo by uh, hashi hashi is mean bridge and for the kanji of uh, jo jo is mean uh, is from the kanji ue ue is mean on so when you put together they can make the word like kyo jo Kyocho is mean on the bridge. So and next uh, we also have the word like Zuli. Zuli. Zuli is mean fishing. And we also have the word Oyobi. Oyobi. Oyobi is mean and So the next, we also have the word like Lui Yi Sui. Lui Yi Sui is mean be like, be similar. And the second, we also have the word Ko Yi. Ko Yi. Ko Yi is mean action and behavior. Action and behavior. So it's is uh, mean koi, koi is mean action and behavior. And the last word for from the uh, from this side is we have a word like kinshi, kinshi, kinshi is mean prohibition. From the uh, word, this word kinshi for the uh, word uh, the sound like she 
She is from the word uh, do mali. Do mali is mean stop, right? And for the word uh, king, king is from the word uh, king m. King m is mean no smoking. So we, we put together king she is also mean prohibition. Right. So now you already understand that uh, you only know the meaning from each word in this and um, in this uh, sign. So let's read together again. So uh, let's read together. The first is say chui. Chui is mean intention. Kyojo deba tsuri. Kyojo deba is mean fall on the bridge. Tsuri fishing. Oyobi. And kore ni lui suri koi. Kore is mean this. Lui suri koi is mean the action similar like this or the action like this right so o kin shi shitemas kin shi is means stop or prohibit that mean um that mean uh the the action or any action similar like this will be prohibit so let's read uh one more again Chui Kyojo Dewa Tsuri Oyobi Kore ni Lui Suri Koi O Kin Shi Shitemas. So I hope that you understand uh, the meaning from this sign. And when you go to travel anywhere in Japan, when you see the sign like this, you can read. And you can understand that what they want you to do, what uh, the meaning of the information on the site like this. So thank you very much for uh, enjoy learning Japanese. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please help me subscribe my channel. I hope to see you learning. Japanese in the next time. If you have any question, please comment below. I will be happy to answer your question. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita.